During the end of my professional boxing career, I worked alongside of Vander Holyfield with Tommy Brooks as our trainer. And I'm going to give you the workouts that we did when we were in the gym. Now, I understand that there is thousands of different boxing coaches out there that gives their fighters thousands of different workouts. I work with a bunch of trainers in my time, but on this video, I'm going to tell you the workouts that I used to do alongside Evander Holyfield as a professional boxer. And this is kind of the, the general workout that boxers do. And it's a workout that I would recommend you to do as well, no matter where you are in your boxing career or your boxing journey. So it is a, a very good workout to do in the gym. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the running that I used to do as well. So stay tuned for the end to hear about my runs that I would do. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer, a former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing education, how to punch harder, how to punch faster, better footwork, better reactions, all that good stuff. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss another valuable video like this one right here. So Let's get into it. Now, like I mentioned before, boxing training is different no matter who you're training with. When I was training for the Olympic Games, we trained a lot different to when I was training as a professional. We were training four times a day, four days a week, then two, two times a day, uh, one day a week, and then having two days off. That is very different to when I'm training as a professional. As an amateur, my sessions were shorter and a lot, I'd say, faster and, and different, lots of more variation. As a professional, what I'm going to tell you now, it was a lot more redundant the same thing over and over again and that's what we're going to get into so a general session for me to come into the professional boxing gym would be i would start off with a warm up warming up all my body all the specific muscles on my body and i've done a full video on how to warm up correctly click the link below and watch that one after this video it's a great video and it will give you a perfect understanding of what you should be doing for your warm-up. After warming up, I would grab the jump rope and I would do four three-minute rounds. I would be jumping, not on a hard floor, but on a, on a board with a sponge underneath it, so it's less impact on my knees and my shins. So I would do four three-minute rounds of jump rope without the rest in between. And our rest time at the gym was 30 seconds. So four times three minutes is 12 minutes, plus the three 30 seconds in between, which is like 13 and a half minutes. Then from there, I would get in the ring to do me shadow box. And my hands would already be wrapped. I would wrap my hands up before I start my warm up at the beginning of the session. So now I'm in the ring and you can see here, I'm in the ring with Evander Holyfield. We are training alongside each other, doing our shadow box. And when we're doing shadow boxing, we always used to do four three minute rounds of shadow boxing with 30 second rest in between. Now, I would be focusing on different things while I'm shadow boxing. And if I had a fight coming up, I would be visualizing my opponent in there and visualizing how I'm going to beat that opponent, different game plans and tactics, as well as, you know, throwing some fast punches in there, getting my heart rate up a little bit. But I wouldn't go flat out because, you know, you're still kind of warming up in the first round or two of shadow boxing, warming up the specific muscles that you're going to be using for your, for your boxing session. So I would ease up into the four, three minute rounds of that, focusing on different things. I would never just go in there without a plan, I would also always go in there with a plan of, well, like I said, whether it's my game plan against my opponent or whether it's a, or whether it's a working on a bad habit or something like that. It's very beneficial. And that's how you get the most out of shadow boxing by having themes for each round. So after my four, three minute rounds of shadow boxing, then I would get the gloves on and I would either do sparring, which was two to three times a week. If I wasn't sparring, I would go on the heavy bag. But let's just talk about the sparring. So when sparring, depending where I was in my training camp, I would do four, six, or eight rounds sparring. My last fight was an eight round fight. I didn't do more than eight rounds sparring for an eight round fight. It would be three minute rounds with a 30 second rest in between each one then. Now after I've done the eight three minute rounds of sparring with the 30 second rest in between, I would get out and take my head guards off and get onto the heavy bag. And I would do two three minute rounds with 30 second rest in between. So then after there, I would go on to the speed ball. I would do two three minute rounds and sometimes I would stop for the 30 second rest in between other times I would just go all the way through so I would be doing six minutes to six and a half minutes on the speed ball to finish it off right there then after the speed ball I would get the mat out and I would do ab work core work I would do two three minute rounds of that with 30 second rest in between and again sometimes I wouldn't even use the 30 seconds I would just go all the way through but often with the abs I would, they would be that intense I would be really you know uh, hurting on that so I would take me 30 second rests before I do my other one then from there I would do a cool down and stretch for a good 
10, 15 minutes and just relaxing and reflecting on the session, what I've just done right there. Now I just wanna reverse it back to the sparring. If I wasn't sparring, I would have just went and done the heavy bag, working on this thing here. And I would do eight three minute rounds of heavy bag with 30 second rest in between when I'm fighting for a eight round fight, focusing on different things, good form, always always focusing on good form i always have my coach tommy brooks shouting come on tony move your head hands up working on my bad habits all the time when i'm on that and then after the bag again i would go to the speedball then after the speedball go and do my abs and then do the stretch so that's the session right there i'm going to put it here for you so look we've got the 10 15 minutes warm up followed by the 13 and a half minutes jump rope followed by the four three minute rounds of shadow boxing eight rounds of spawn plus two rounds heavy bag or we would just do the straight eight rounds of heavy bag then followed by two four three minute rounds of the speed ball then from there go into the two three minute rounds of ab work then from there we go straight to the stretching and cooling down and reflecting now this is the important thing reflecting on your session thinking about your session relaxing calming down letting the heart rate come down letting the body recover before you just get up and jump in the car and then drive home or wherever you're going to go let the body relax and enjoy that stretch and, and enjoy that time after the gym to let your mind you know just unwind a little bit and and think about the session think about your opponent think about what you've done right what you've done wrong and if it was sparring or not that right there is, is a crucial part of your session right at the end now talking about running and road work i want to dive a little bit deeper into this in some future videos so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn the bell notifications on so you don't miss this but real quick i would run five to six times a week they would vary like a long steady run i would do that two three times a week maybe and that right there would be like a slow pace that's just building up your leg strength working on your stamina and working on controlling your weight that's what i would do that for then other runs that i would do is I would do a sustained run. Now this right here is an absolute killer. And I'm gonna give you all of the details on this on, on the other video I'll do about running. But this one basically was on a running track. I would do 800 meters rest, 800 meters rest, 600 meters rest, 600 meters rest, 400 meters rest, 400 meters rest. And then I would finish off with a 200 meter run going as fast as I can, absolute killer. But I used to wear my heart rate monitor and I used to measure my recovery rate of that. I'm gonna give you all them details on the next video that I do on this. And then other videos I would do would be some sprints where I would be running 100 meters as fast as I can, turn around, come back as fast as I can, doing about 12 of them as well. So in a nutshell, that was me running, but that's all scheduled. It was all scheduled out. Again, I'll do another video on that later on. Make sure you watch this video next where I talk about the boxing warm up. It's important that you warm up correctly before every session. So click here and watch this video next. You're going to absolutely love it and learn a lot from it.